President uh, Joe Biden is convening his Summit for Democracy on December 9th and 10th as the first of its kind gathering of more than 100 countries ostensibly to help stop democratic backsliding and erosion of rights and freedoms worldwide. But only a blind person cannot see that this summit first and foremost aims at China, its successful development and ideological model socialism with China characteristics. This in turn is only a packaging for creation of several new trade and military blocks, with further aim of using them into a global uh, system for containment of China. At the same time, Washington is reviving another ghost of the past, the new Cold War, this time against China. From history perspective, these geopolitical activities are doomed. It is doubtful that Biden and his Democrats have enough time to unite anti-Chinese forces into efficient uh, construct, even more so a real fighting force. More and more countries are becoming frustrated with obviously stumbling and unreliable leader of the free world. The Afghanistan fiasco reminded them once again that American paper tiger can be defeated even with old rifles and is always ready to abandon its allies. Another important reason is that more and more countries are staking their current and future welfare on trade and economic ties with China. It is obvious that PRC will soon become the biggest economy in the world. It is already, clo uh, it is already one of the biggest markets for developed countries, including closest allies of the USA. To take part in anti-Chinese economic uh, sanctions, or even full-scale Cold War, means to risk millions of working places and billions in revenues. The unique Chinese political system, call it whole process people's democracy, or simply Chinese democracy, is firmly based on local traditions and current realities. It looks naturally in the Chinese political landscape like a beautiful pagoda. To challenge it with rather shaky and dilapidated Western skyscraper is not wise and maybe even dangerous.